But, you know, that's what we've seen, right? A lot of we're seeing things. Arla popping up, but it's Novara once we get in the game. And uh, so, yeah, it's we were talking. So it's just a race on who gets the first, well, who gets the first level four right ahead in this game. Dude. And as we jump into it, again, game number two here. UAE fighting to take it to a game three after a brutal game one. Looking to slow down the momentum from the Philippines here. Solid choices, though, in terms of picks, especially with the Fred wow. Fredrin. It's a great option, right? So now, oh, wow, already getting this early Ooh. flicker out from Drago. He had the right idea, though, right? Put the pressure yeah. where he needs to, especially in the mid lane. Yeah, good, great, good game sense there by uh, Drago. So the, he felt it coming. The response time of Philippines right now is so fast, considering there's two quantum charges present for Saison and Ricatiano. Look at that, Saison is looking to take down Jed. Meanwhile, trap uh -oh. comes soon. Here comes Cannon for the reinforcement. Saison doesn't escape that one. Jed secures the first blood. Well, well Cannon's trying to get this crab point out. Seven and the Anders receives the trouble. Right onto Unigo. Look at that, HP bars dropping. But still sustaining that, UAE gets the first point against Philippines this time around, game number two. That's great for Jed, right? He needs, if it's someone to get that first blood, Jed is a great person to have that. Not only that, but he's going to be able to utilize this. Oh, that's tough. That was close. That was close. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh. I was waiting, man. I thought there was a must carry. Okay, there's been a lot of those moments today, right? With a sliver of health. And uh, as I was leading into that, Jed, he needs to take this little bit of a lead. He had that first blood to hopefully be that front man for his team, right? For the most part, yes, you have the heart guard from Angela for, from 7M, but having this small lead right now, you can actually do quite a bit with it, especially leading into this first turtle. We'll see how they play it out. Philippines has good position on the disorder. Who gets the first objective? It's Ison. Cannon might want to secure the skill onto Travis using the penalty zone. Trapping one, but he's now dropping onto his life. Jed secures the kill. Saison takes a trade. Oh. oh, one more or another. Jed uses the Black Dragon form, trying to chase on Unigo. Will he use the Petrified Dome? No, he won't. But still, it's just UAE fighting and getting those objectives right on their hands. Hey, it's another kill for him. You know, Jed, unfortunately, as a turtle, as we look at this replay, he didn't have the Black Dragon yet, right? He wasn't level four because he got forced back to base. If he had it here, this this might have been a little bit of a different fight, right? But still able to pick up a kill. But you can see, Philippines, knowing what they have to do, they get the objective, and they're going to continue to do this. They're slowly, even with how things unfold in early game, they're building that gold lead. This is what we saw them do in game number one. Albeit, it's better here for UAE this time around because Jed has some of that lead. But still, if he can provide that coverage for his team, especially these early skirmishes, it'll be crucial. But right now, Cannon's just keeping him there on the top side, right? He does not want him to roam to help with these early skirmishes. Cannon. And there you go. Oh. Jed secures the kill on the killing spree. Three we saying, kills just right off camera. So Jed now 3 0. <laughs> like, this is the man that we have been talking about even back in Riyadh for the Asian Championships. He is someone that UAE can rely on. And like I said, with this pick alone with the Yuzhong, it's, it's impactful throughout the majority of the game, especially if you get an early lead. But hopefully it's enough to allow Buez just to farm up. This is what he has to do. Despite that lead, now they're translating it into kill. Saison and also one of them being trapped by the taunt there. Travis would want to secure that kill. But Maleficar are present now for Catriano. He could dive zone. deep with a penalty zone as well. A cannon as well with a reinforcement right in too. Jed forced to use the Black Dragon form to escape the possible takedown of Philippines right in mid. It looked so good for UAE until it wasn't, right? And it, they were poking Philippines down. They were able to get a little bit of an advantage, and then the flip back came from the Philippines, and now they're going to grab themselves a turtle here. Second one of the game. So objectively, they're still securing these neutral objectives. You can see the focus, though, on Jed. Wow, he's just evading on to three, dancing on to three, but Jed won't survive that one. Cannon secures the kill, and Philippines slowly, despite all the kills happening, they're still on the lead, Naisu. That's what I'm saying. Building it slowly but surely, despite that early lead that just Jed built up, right? He has those three kills, and even looking at the itemization here, 
things kind of falling into place. The fact that Recrutiano already has that Malefic Aurora, he's working on that second item. He's pretty much doing the same thing Buez is, right? But Buez is going to get taken down. That was with the Torn Apart memory in the bottom side off camera. Hill. And so that helps him even more. So really, if you're UAE, where do we put the pressure? We had a little bit of this momentum. We don't want to lose it because that's what's happening here. Also, Draco got the ultimate a few seconds ago from Arkham Hell. Now, not having, uh, again, a point, but mostly on the assist. We're waiting for that burst from the Forza to complement the lineup right, right now of Philippines. So as looking at the, the map, even the advantage, Philippines not letting go of the lead as of now. Completely maintaining that objective, but no turrets being taken yet. No turret taken by either team. It's just been scrappy. Like, that's the early game, right? It's been, for the most part, yes, it's been the Jed show early on for UAE. But Philippines have kind of stopped that from happening, you know, any further. And you can see it. Look, they got to respect the damage. Wow, Shaw Essence connecting to Ark on Hell. That's just one person. It's Jed again. Still the Jed show. The Jed show. 4 1 and 0. Oh. Astral Recall Al and Astral Echo connecting onto 3. Just revealing the positions of UAE right now. Oh. Sword Apart Memory, will it be enough? No, it won't. Still saved by the Heart Guard. That's what Heart Guard's for. That's why you lock in the Angela now. And this is the thing, as they most likely have to give up this turtle, it's going to be the third one going in the hands of the Philippines. Ooh. Oh, a shot. Jed's that's in trouble. Poke. Now that's three members from the Philippines. Just right in the turret, they take down Jed, giving him his second death. Now an avenue for Philippines to take this last turtle of the game. Wow, they already... Okay, so top side, they got the flicker out from Recutiano, but still, members going down here for UAE. There's just... It's it's happening all across the map, OSX, right? There's objectives being taken, there's kills being taken, and still, at the end of the day, what's happening here is it's building up, right? The lead from Philippines continuing to snowball, and so you got to slow it down. Right now, I'm getting another kill. Just up top by himself, yeah. Revealing location, and Saison also taking the orange out of UAE. Now resources being stolen up against Travis, and up top, Rikadiano doing his own work. Pushing and just took down a turret up top from Jed. I find a very similar situation to what happened in game one, man. And yes, it might have happened slower, but it's still happening for the Philippines. It's getting out of control with the gold lead here. Recutiano is getting solo kills by himself. Unigo is popping off with the Astro recalls, whittling people down, allowing the rest of the team to profit off of that. So at this point for UAE, with that so lead that Jed had, how do you deal with it, right? You got to rely on the rest of the team here to help out as they press the mid. Feather airstrike being used against the turret of UAE. Now they take one first tier turret right in the mid has now been destroyed. Now Philippines eyes on one. Look at that. Three man knockup with a follow up of Riccadiano having a mega kill. But Travis on the other hand trying to taunt one. Will Cannon be the answer here? But no, he's still sustaining the damage. Drago is down, Jed oh. is down as well, but Viviana still sustaining that fight. Heart guard tried to poke him down, but he still remains strong. Philippines, no cash will least, and he's taking a purple out of UAE. The Philippines is not the one with the Angela, but somehow they're the ones sustaining these fights and staying alive here. UAE still, I mean, at this, you know, it's been minutes now where Jet had these kills all in his hands. You're hoping that. Buez is able to get some on this Melissa, right? The damage is starting to be there, but is it going to be too late? Even looking at the replay here, Jed takes part of the damage. A nice flicker, too, that we saw with the setup with the penalty zone. But look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Buez just does not have the damage just yet. Maybe another three, four minutes. He'll be where he needs to be. But is it going to be too late by that time, right? Now that this Lord is up, it's most likely just better off if UAE doesn't test it. They defend because it's just going to be taken in the hands of the Philippines here, just like all the Turtles early on. Yeah, three-level gap. Saison against Travis. The lead right now is just on the charts of Philippines, and they've taken an objective once again. Still maintaining their defenses, though. Not, nothing taken from all of the parts of the map for this team, and completely pushing UAE to a defensive state. How can it be aggressive? How can it be offensive? with the lineup of the Philippines. Who do you catch? Is it Unigo? Is it Cannon? Or even Arcangel? They have ways to escape, but if they commit to a team fight, that's, that's the one thing that they need to have a defense for. 
It's tough because, like I was saying, it happened a little bit slower, but inevitably it turned out to be a 10k gold lead anyway for game two. Philippines now marching down the mid lane with this first lord of the game. They should be able to make quick work of it, right? They're still able to do that. Look at Jed's placement as well. He's trying to find his own entry point, and it looks like they're going to go ahead and go for it. Look at the back line coming from the back. Jed using that stun. Catching one. Will this be the answer of UAE to bounce back? But Saison takes down the Yuzong of UAE. There's no Black Dragon form that could save him back to his base. Now, Philippines is knocking slowly. Right into the defenses of UAE, melting another last tier turret in mid. Look at that, Buez with a burst from Argangel is completely devastating right now for UAE. Now they take another turret up top, and as well as one defense down bottom. The poke potential is massive here for the Philippines with this lead. And just Ice Cream Wand just now being picked up, by the way, by Unigo. Right, he only had the talisman, he has the necklace of Durant's here as well to help with some of that sustain. And you're seeing it, right? The, the combination of Astral Recall with the Feathered Airstrike is deadly, especially when you have this much of a lead at this point. And I, I kind of expect to see this more, right? Especially with Novaria, how popular of a hero pick she is. And so when you're dealing with that across from you with this much of a disparity in terms of your items and everything else, UAE finds himself once again with their backs through the wall. It's not pressed, it's literally through the wall. And they have to find some saving grace within the next defense. Now, does Philippines wait 50 seconds for the next Lord? Most likely, because still they don't want to basically blunder initiation in the base unless somehow they're able to whittle down multiple members like this. Yeah, they just keep on forcing UAE to commit even clear lanes right now. 30 seconds for the Lord. And to think uh, oh, the, the strength right now, Philippines mostly rely on true damage of this road. He has three of strong items right now, even has the physical damage immunity, which is the win of nature. With the confidence that he has right now and the lead, it's almost half of gold up against Buez. Like, that you might want to secure most of the items since you're a Melissa and most of the team fights that you need extra damage up against the Philippines defenses. How do you even go through that? So, uh, as nice being, uh, again, reiterating the fact that how will UAE bounce back from this? Either they get the objective, not commit at all, or just have a uh, isolated pickoff. But as you can see, Philippines completely taking another objective out of UAE's hands. Okay, they get a turret plus a kill. Utilizing Jed with the heart card. They trade the Lord though, right? So inevitably they, they were at least able to get something. And now is that actually enough to, to turn the tide of this game? It's a step in the right direction. But the biggest thing they have to get through is this next Lord March that was secured by the Philippines. And still the, the big elephant in the room is the fact that itemization wise it's going to be a tough time because yeah. the philippines will just go ahead and brute force their way into the base here most likely whether that's canon going in with that he's got the flicker available he's got penalty zone available and the lord marching in the mid lane is going to make it even more tough more of a tough job for uae to withstand oh no no more purple for UAE to take, and, and the Lord marching through the mid, even waves of minions now just going into the base. Saison in the other hand receives damage though, but they are ready to sort of spawn more. Look at the flicker onto Cannon with the penalty zone, the trapping too. Look at the burst from Rekodiana securing that kill. Buez is down, there's no damage to respond for Philippines eyeing onto the base. There's no one left to even eye on defend. Who do they That's target? It. Will it be the base or will it be the members of Team Philippines and they secure the point of this match, Sue and O. Oh, Philippines remains undefeated coming from the group stages of Yash 2023. In a similar fashion from game one of the series, dominant is the Philippines. And it makes you wonder too, right? What can UAE do as they prepare for tomorrow facing off in the lower bracket? And what's in store for us even tomorrow as we see the other games unfold? I'm like, there's so much here. Uh, games that were upsets today, games that were dominant today.